Hello. How are you? Welcome everybody to the Whoa Man Sky <laughs> painting stream. Whoa man, it was tough getting started today. Let me tell ya, my inspiration has changed. Um, this is not it. This is just a painting I've been working on. I figured it would be nice to have something pretty there to start. Just, just something I'm working on, just a little something. It's not done, work in progress. So I missed a few days in September and I apologize because we were doing something pretty important in September. We went gold for September and we focused on some fun, like almost like nursery picture paintings for No Man's Sky babies. I think these would be really cute in, in a, um, the kiddo's room or something, you know? And I wanted it to be a series of three. I wanted uh, three trophies uh, with different cool, like blended primary color backgrounds. Um, but guys, as you all know, things have been a little mm, challenging on the home front here. So I uh, just had a little bit of hecticness and depression to wade through in September. So I'm sorry I missed you guys on um, our last two Thursdays of September. I was thinking about doing a trophy today to just round it out because I wanted it to be a three, at least a three, if not a four um, series. But I didn't realize that these other small canvases I had, they're actually too small. <laughs> I thought they were all the same size and I really wanted it to be, you know, nice and uniform and really cool and colorful. So as you can see, my plans didn't go according to plan and that's okay. We're just going to change plans, have some fun today. Um, though September is past, the whole idea of going gold for September is to become aware of childhood cancer. And so carry that knowledge with you throughout the rest of the year. Um, my family just did a hashtag 43 challenge, which I hope to do next year. Um, but it's, it's kind of a sad fact that 43 children a day, a day are diagnosed with cancer. 43 children a day. So let that sink in. Um, the 43 challenge was to like do 43 miles or 43 um, minutes or just really anything you could do um, to donate to uh, cancer research. So that was a really cool thing that happened. Um, but pay close attention in the description below. There is a link to Camp Okizu. Camp Okizu is a camp for uh, cancer kids, survivors, and their siblings to go and be with other kids who have been struggling with that that life, <laughs> um, you know, battling cancer and being the sibling of someone battling cancer is it's crazy as a young person. To, I can't even fathom it. And my nephews just astound me as human beings. So Camp Okizu in the links uh, below in the description, that burned down, guys. It burned down. It was in California with all these fires going on. Camp Okizu is gone. The only thing left is it's incredible fireplace and it will be back. You know, the, the ground is still there and they are going to rebuild. So if you do give for anything I've mentioned about childhood cancer in the last month, please give to Camp Okisu because my nephews go to that every summer and they even did online uh, camp this summer too. So um, check that out. It's an amazing program place, environment, special, special place for um, cancer kids and their families. So hi, hi, Smash. Hi, Dimash. What's up? So yeah, anywho, um, I'm going to throw this little, it's teeny tiny. Maybe we'll do a teeny tiny canvas one day, but today I have prepped a canvas in all black. Ooh, it's already dry, but look at that. So uh, it's kind of a fun background to start with because we're going to be able to, whatever we put on top, it isn't blending. It's not, we're not uh, getting too anxious before something's not dry. So yeah, I'm excited. I love my little gold trophies. They turn out great. 
Maybe we'll add to them another day. All right, so, oh, and I'm thinking I wanna do this way. What do I wanna do? I think I wanna do this way. All right, this one might be a little abstract. I'm gonna kind of do it a little bit um, fun and dirty today. So uh, what I want you guys to do for me is as I'm painting, I'm not gonna tell you what the inspiration is today. I'm just gonna paint and I want you guys to guess, okay? So that's the game today. You guess what my inspiration is. And yes, there is a screenshot already posted of it in the Discord. Um, get all my colors that I want here. Right, I'm gonna use like kind of the like basically like brown and purple, but we'll see, we'll see. Do I want anything else? I might want some circles. Just you and me, Maddie. My gosh, you look so great today. Good to see your face while I'm away. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> For my face, <laughs> you're welcome. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm looking at my circles, guys. I think I'm gonna use some circles today. Yeah. Imagine poopy. You gotta go change your pants. Cool. All right. I've got some circles. Let's begin. I'm going to start with the purple because that's going to kind of inform the ratio of everything else I'm painting on here today. Now this purple is a glossy purple, which I didn't even know, <laughs> but that's kind of cool. Um, so you can get gloss or regular acrylic and have it be shiny or not shiny. I meant puppy, I meant puppy, please don't ban me. Oh God, <laughs> I'm not gonna ban you magic. I mean, I don't say that this is like for kids anyway, so. Poopy is not like the worst thing you could have said. <laughs> anyway, all right, so I've got my, uh, these are biscuit cutters actually of many sizes. And I'm going to, um, and I'm gonna, like I said, we're gonna be doing it dirty today. So instead of painting it, like I normally do a little rim of paint with a brush around here, I'm just gonna take the paint on my palette and I'm going to just kind of lightly dip the edges into the paint and then All righty. Uh, so that was my biggest circle. I'm going to use a slightly smaller circle now. Doing the same technique, though. Just lightly dipping it into the paint. So it's just coated. You wanna try to press down 
without any angles as best you can. And then lift away, straight away from your canvas. Don't um, peel it away or wipe it away because uh, you're trying to maintain that good shape. And I'm gonna switch now down to my smallest one. Just lightly, lightly dip into your purple paint. So this kind of looks like a necklace almost, right? And as I said, uh, I'm not gonna tell you what the inspiration is today. You guys can guess, though the picture is already posted in the Discord. So as this forms, you can tell me what you think it is. I'm also doing it from memory. <laughs> that might not be a good idea. I'll bring it up anyway. But I'm not gonna show you guys. So NMS screenshots in my Discord, that's where you guys wanna post anything that might be an inspiration. Let's see. <laughs> so where did I see that? Oh, I think it got posted in art tutorials. Huh. <laughs> it did. All right. Well, and again, this, like I said, it's kind of an interpretation. So, um, you guys can wind up telling me what you think about it. I meant puppy. I meant puppy. Please don't bend me. Don't, you're not banned. Don't stress. All right. So, Next color. Hmm. I'm going to use some of my favorite kind of olive green, and this is one of my old paints was given to me so it's kind of thicker um, and it's heavy body is the type so it's it is meant to be thicker so it's just this is such a creamy beautiful green earthy earthy color Let me show you guys can you see that green oh, isn't that pretty This green is almost too green. It's like very neon, but maybe we'll find some cool blending with it. And I've also got kind of like a, this brown, nice warm brown. Hi Moose, what's up? I'm late. <laughs> hey, that's all right. Uh, you're actually not as late as you might think because we actually started with a black background that was already dry. I prepped the canvas um, like a day ago. I had a bunch of extra black on my palette from painting with my art student. Um, we're doing movie poster type paintings and mine is a movie poster of flowers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, so I had a ton of black left over and I was like, you know what, I'll just prep this black onto a canvas. So the next time I want to have a canvas with a black background, I don't have to wait for it to dry. And whatever colors we're putting on here today is really going to pop because of that very, very reason. So, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just loosey-goosey today, guys. I'm 
painting this sort of from memory. I don't want to pay too much attention to like making it exact. I'm doing more of an abstract tributary painting and you guys get to guess what the inspiration is. Although the clues already you have are that it is in the arts tutorial, art tutorials tab in my discord. So if you want to skip ahead and guess as I go along, you can. <laughs> ah, nice, that way you don't waste. Good for the world. Yeah, right, exactly. Also good for my uh, my palette plate, because it's, it's, I'm wondering when the day will come when my palette paint is all dried up to like an even <laughs> level with the plate itself, the plate rim. I think that'd be hilarious. <laughs> I don't know when it'll get there, but um, cool. So, I'm stalling. I'm stalling because I'm nervous. <laughs> Is that silly? Some people do. They get nervous about painting. They get nervous to get started uh, when they're really committing to something. Um, I don't always experience it. I think it's because I really care about this painting today. So I want it to be good. All righty. So I've got a large flat brush here. I'm gonna take some of my brown. And I'm just gonna start giving this thing some structure. When you get a new plate, the old one will be a new masterpiece to put on display. Exactly, Moose. I like that thinking. That's totally what I, I thought. One day this would just be a piece of art itself, and then I'll switch to a new plate. <laughs> Any guesses yet? Does anyone know what it is? <laughs> um, I'm also trying to do a little bit of dry brushing to let the black of the background sort of peer through, sort of giving texture and depth um, already, even though we're just doing beginning strokes. Scottish Rod is here. What's up, Scottish Rod? <laughs> Hello, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, Rod. 
just just teasing us, huh? Just giving us a tease, I see. Anyone know what it is yet? <laughs> uh, it's me. <laughs> it is. It's a Scottish rod. <laughs> Looks like a butt with bumps. <laughs> Are you saying my husband has a face like a spotty butt moose? <laughs> uh oh, run, moose. It's Malia. Oh my God, guys, yeah, you guessed it, you guessed it, Rob. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to do something stylistic, okay, so I'm thinking. Yeah, if you guys go look in art tutorials, Scottish Rod posted a really great, fabulous close-up mugging shot of a Scottish Rod. Uh, since it's been guessed, this is the inspiration photo. Ooh. You know, I hate them. I hate them so much. They make me so uncomfortable. But now that there's this fun joke about them with Scottish Rod, like I, I can get behind them. Just, just, just enough to paint one. <laughs> Um, so this guy's got like, cause they're all a little different, right? But this one has, I kind of like his little whiskies, his little whiskers that come out. And then he's got like tentacles, right? So obviously we're doing a pretty extreme close up. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is just throw in some whiskers and then maybe some, a uh, bit of tentacles coming up from the base of it. But I, I'm also trying to do like a cool shadowy look to it. So, um, I don't know. Let's see what happens. I'm going to kind of, I just want to leave this in shadow is what I'm going for. So 
So we're going to start strong over here and then it fades as, as maybe this is, you know, he's partially in a cave or whatever. So um, a couple of whiskers here. I've got a whisker here. That one's kind of thicker. And then smaller one. So there's a couple that just sort of stick out from the dark because his head is like more forward and then it goes back. Like he has an extreme, like, you know, um, <laughs> um, over that overbite. Yeah. Extreme overbite. So. Mm -hmm. This one, we want to see it, but not till like the shadows here. So maybe we just see the end of it. So that's the symmetrical to this one, sort of. Not super symmetrical, but that's okay. And so that's the long one. There's a little one and a couple little. And his tentacles are like a little awkward hug. <laughs> um, and we're not really seeing the full tentacle. We're just going to see the bit that goes down and it comes out to hug you. So we're just going to see a little bit of a, a boosh tentacle. See, I'm loving it. I really like this one. I was new, my inspiration, I should just follow my inspiration. Um, Cause I really like how it's just like, kind of like in a spot of sunshine and then it's like creeping back into the cave or creeping out of the cave. Who knows? You never know. Sometimes they're totally evil and sometimes they're totally docile, whatever. I don't like it when they're evil because <laughs> I don't like the way they skitter. They're like, blah, 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 blah. I hate it. Hate it. I hate it. Feely Conan, what's up? Hey, hey. Uh, would you even be angry? Hi. It's like some moth or I don't know. It's all well, beautiful as all I could see in here. <laughs> A spider? Nope. Keep it all suppressed deep down. I'm sure it won't have any side effects to mash. <laughs> I've never known that kind of thing to really a safe bet there. Oh God, you too. Um, so Feely Conan may still be guessing. I don't know if they've got to the point in the stream where Scottish Rod guessed. It's a Scottish Rod. It's this guy. There he is. Look at him. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's good. I got the eyes positioning a little off, but that's okay. I don't care. Um, <laughs> I like this Scottish ride. They're all procedurally generated anyway. So this is just the mad fish procedure at all. Um, but they taste so nice. So I honestly, guys, I want to keep this simple because it's, it, I really like it. I honestly would leave it like this. except I want to fill in the purple of the eyes. 
Um, and I'm thinking I might put a little glossy bit of green in them and I might highlight some green into that brown. I don't know, I don't wanna ruin it. It looks so good right now. But um, let's see, I'm gonna give it some reflection in the purple. Towards the direction of the light, right? You want this little reflective spot to be from your light source. And it might have less of it over here, just a little. Still some, but not as strong. So then we can. Da, 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 da. What brush do I want to use to do this? This will be a good one. So, um, because the the eyes are round, so I want to. Um, this brush is not entirely flat bristled on the top. It's still a flat brush, but it's a bit of a rounded edge. So I think I can work with that to try to fill in the purple around that green. If they blend a little, it's gonna be okay. But uh, we're gonna stay within the outline that our biscuit cutters gave us. And just try to fill in the eyes a little. Oh man, I almost like it with the black better. Uh. I know what I'll do. We're faded out, just like everything else. Got a little too much green in my brush, so I'm just rinsing it out. And we'll see if I cannot deftly do some fade action over here. Just kind of a 
little bit of a fade. Yeah, that's cool. So I did a lot more just kind of dry brushing on those three eyeballs. Um, so, you know, grab paint on your brush and then use some other place on your palette that doesn't have much paint mm -hmm. on it to sort of rub most of the paint out. Um, and you'll find the happy medium. So let me catch up the comments here. A spider, no, keep it all spread. Oh no, I'm caught up. Hey, great. Well, thank you everyone for coming by today. Mm -hmm. Thank you for hitting the like button. I super appreciate it. Um, mm -hmm. We're gonna do a few more little finishing touches and then today's painting is done. Honestly, I wanted to keep it simple. I wanted to do a kind of interesting, shadowy, close-up take on a lovable character we've all come to love. Scottish Rod, there he is, everybody. Name these Scottish Rod anytime you find them, because he got crabs. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't think he does. I don't even really know how it started, but it started on a Captain Steve stream, and it's hilarious, so why not? <laughs> Hi, Biter, what's up? Hi, good to see you. Um, aw, Moose is bzz, bzz, Maddie, busy, go away, bzz, bzz. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what it is, guys. Are you Discording right now? It's probably you guys in the Discord. I just got here. That's a very nice Scottish rod. Thank you, fighter. Thank you so much. Um, you did just get here. Welcome. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm just going to spruce up Just some finishing touches. I'm thinking of putting a little bit of this green that I put in the eyes. I just want to like the sides that are reflecting light. I'm just gonna kind of brush this through and see if I can't not ruin the painting. Just to give it some, some texture. You know what other what up? I cannot talk. Whatever green object is over here, that the light in the eyes that's being reflected is green, and so there's something green reflecting light also. So this green can the same green be used to reflect more light, and it's going to be really subtle. So you guys can barely see that, but just a hint. On all these spots. That are catching light, right? And the light source is coming from up here. Mm -hmm. So it's all going to be focused towards this side. I focused a little extra green on this tentacle uh, because it is like, you know, if he's inside a little cave, he's reaching out. That tentacle comes out farther than him. So I did a little more saturation of the green on that little tentacle. Um, so you're gonna do a little over here. Mm -hmm. 
So I think he's just, he's emerging from a cave, right? And he's coming out to sniff the air and see if you are friend or foe. Are you first? Are you last? got a little too green so I'll just bring some of that brown back in All right, so I think I think that's how I want it, guys. Little shadowy specter coming out of the cave. And that green, you know, it's a really subtle effect, but it just helps uh, give a little life and texture and depth. So there you have it. There's our Scottish rod painting. <laughs> <sighs> Lighter came in. Oh, Hessa is here. Hey, girl, what up? Hey, Hessa. Well, we painted a Scottish rod today. <laughs> uh, if you guys are interested in playing the game, anytime you find one of these critters, you name it Scottish rod. Um, cool purple eyes, right? I like the purple. I think the um, OG inspiration photo, I'll bring it up here for you guys. If you ever wanna be an inspiration for me to paint, um, please post your screenshots, all kinds of different stuff from No Man's Sky in my Discord. If uh, one of my awesome mods would throw my Discord link in there, the either, um, well, the NMS screenshots tab is where I normally go to look for them. This is in the art tutorials tab. Sorry for the reflection on the computer there. Yeah, it's unavoidable. So that's that was the inspiration photo for today. And we just took it a little bit more artistically. The eyes in here are kind of a burgundy brown. I just, I'm a colorful person. I love color. So I was like, I want to go purple. <laughs> um, hello, King Crab and all the minions. <laughs> yeah, King Crab. Scottish Rod, who's actually right now Malia in the chat, guys. He's 
stolen his lady's iPad or something. Um, let's see, what did I, I didn't miss any comments up here? Maddie, play, yeah, yeah, ding dong. <laughs> uh, I could tell you the story. Well, yeah, I want to hear the story. You should put the story in the Discord <laughs> or link the uh, link the Captain Steve video that it all came from. But yeah, oh, um, see, there it is, there it is. Ah, I love it. It's so cute. Um, and I never thought I would say that about those things because they normally disgust me. But yeah, you guys can post um, inspiration screenshots in my Discord. There's the link. Thank you so much, Scottish Rod Malia. Um, quite inspirational, <laughs> right? This is so fun. I really enjoyed doing this with a, we started with a black background that I painted yesterday. So the black was already dry. And so that can give you some cool effects with the ability to almost paint with a negative space, right? Negative space, negative space, negative space. But we know that there's a body, a mass right there. So it's a fun way to paint. I don't do it often, but I, I really loved the inspiration for today. And I really wanted to um, make it nice and simple, but really cool. So I think we did that. Um, thank you all for coming by. There's my man, Mrs. Santa Rod Grab. <laughs> it looks like a caterpillar also. It does a little bit. Or centipede. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, Thursdays, 3 p.m. now. I'm starting to do it at 3 just in case, um, you know, it's after school time, you know. Like, we don't really get super raunchy around here. So, I don't know. Someone's kid could watch this, I suppose. Maybe put it on mute. Just paint it. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, but Beeble streams at 1 almost every day on Thursdays. And so if I start at three, then I, there's an off chance he might drop by. That's always fun. Um, Michael Staff is here. Hello. Hi, Michael Staff. It's all right. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Have a good evening, Mads. I will. You too. Um, see you guys in the NMS universe. <laughs> take those pictures and post them. I'd love to see them. All right. So take care. And, uh, Weekend mission days tomorrow, so tune in Captain Steve's channel. I think Dimash will be on his weekend mission, and then we sometimes do a weekend mission afterwards. If there's a weekend mission, right? There wasn't last weekend, but there should be. It'll be fun. Uh, Saturdays and Mondays, I'm doing Horizon Zero Dawn, which we just beat. So tell me in the Discord another thing, you guys. Do you want me to jump right back in to New Game Plus? Um with an ultra hard Horizon Zero Dawn file, or should I save my pennies and get Windbound and do a playthrough of Windbound for you before we jump back into HCD Ultra Hard? Tell me what you'd like. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, thank you, great painting, and see y'all in the next stream. Yep, all right, ciao.